Oh, and there it is. It started 30 seconds late. But uh, this is the uh, transfer of authority. Oh, they're still keeping us waiting. How do, what is the volume of this? There we go. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, yeah, they're still late. Now a minute after, uh, waiting for Nelson to transfer authority to uh, the rightful king, because I'm sure that's what he's going to do. It's the light of Christmas to the rightful king, right? Right? So, six. Oh, I'm seeing numbers on the screen. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll have my camera waiting and just in case. Oh, there he is. Dear to my heart. That's it? That was a fluff piece. <laughs> what did I tell you? A fluff piece. <sighs> Preaching about a false Christ. And uh, the video I did... <coughs> Earlier, uh, uh, LDS Church Millennial Administration. Uh, it's a little slow in coming on Travis Wayne Goodsell. On uh, TWG, it's up to twenty four in five hours. Breakout video. Breakout alert. <laughs> YouTube apparently has not listened to the prophets yet again as they were ordered in the other video I did uh, to stop abusing me. Nobody wants to listen to the prophets. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, experiencing the true light of Jesus Christ this Christmas. I, I thought it was hilarious though because this came out Tuesday when they announced it so what happens Wednesday morning well <laughs> the video talks about waiting for the lights to come on <laughs> and they announced it on Tuesday and then Wednesday night um, I can't remember uh, let's see where was it? It would be retention blackout. Yeah, second day before Mormon prophecy, retention blackout. Blackout having to do with the blackout that occurred throughout all Utah. Utah Mormons are waiting for the lights to come on. <laughs> so yeah, that was hilarious. Great timing. And then, yeah, the birth of Jesus that never happened, and, yeah, false Christ. I've gone over with you. It's very simple doctrine. We're not Christian. We never claimed to be Christian until Heber J. Grant, our founder. But I thought it was interesting. He's saying that Jesus Christ is going to cast out all our fear. Wow. We're in fear, are we? <laughs> and Jesus is just going to cure us of fear. All our phobias gone with the magical healing power of Jesus. Amazing. The magical powers of Jesus curing all fears. That's a new one. So, yeah. Awesome. False Doctrine 101. So, uh, yeah, big letdown. Uh, but uh, some new doctrine <laughs> for the magical Jesus. <laughs> and it's dangerous, too, because people then, you know, assume 
that Jesus will eliminate their fears and then they go oh yeah I have fears yeah all of a sudden now I'm reminded of my fears that I have <laughs> my fear is that the great and abominable church will destroy me <laughs> Jesus gonna help me with that? <laughs> the false prophets are going to speak false doctrine. I fear that. Is Jesus gonna help me? <laughs> so that I don't have to do anything that it's all on Jesus. That's where it comes from. All this, oh, let God and let go. Yeah, you don't have to do a single shred of work on your part. Jesus will do it all for you. Jesus will come, get rid of the wicked. He'll make everything better, and you don't have to do a thing. You don't have to be good, because Jesus will make you good. Yeah, it's all BS doctrine. Alrighty. Big disappointment. So what I'll do, instead of inserting this into the video I had set up for today, which is the final day before tomorrow video, I'll just maybe put a little thing in there that it was a big disappointment and let that speak for itself as a separate video and then make this one a separate video for you.